Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex, rare whiskey Friday. Right, whiskeys that that you will likely not be able to get in your area. Yeah, not necessarily large brands. Very often this is going to be craft distilleries that don't have a tremendous amount of distribution. Kind of hard to get your hands on if you are so lucky as to be in an area where you can get your hands on any one of these bottles. We're going to do a review right now, and we are moments away from beginning our... Two hours, roughly. The quarterly challenge. Quarterly challenge starts in roughly two hours. We're going to try to get in all four of these before then. So the dry week is the quarterly challenge in... The Whiskey Tribe, the community, Magnificent Bastards, and uh, this is just, oh, savor the whiskeys, savor the whiskeys, because this, I gotta be, I gotta get that coast, I gotta get that enough of a coast, and we get through the dry week, and then, <laughs> coast. we got two bottles from Travis Wallard. Travis Wallard, you Magnificent Bastards! So uh, these are both Cedar Ridge, Iowa, which we've done a bunch of Cedar Ridge, but never done these two. Okay. So this is their Oktoberfest single malt. Sure. Which is, they make their typical single malt, mm -hmm. and then they finish it in an Oktoberfest barrel that was used by, what's the company? Lion... Um, cheating and stealing. I gotta look it up. Lion no, 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 no. It's uh, Lion Cheating. Lion Bridge Brewing Company, Oktoberfest beer. Lion Cheating and Stealing. Distillery exclusive, these, both of these bottles. Dude, all right, so I really like the nose. That's uh, Ooh, that's kind of musty, funky honey. Uh, and then there's a, like. It's almost mead like. Yeah. It's like, I was gonna say honey. Yeah. The honey of, uh, but it's like a full bodied honey. Maybe traces of it, like a dusty cinnamon and some oakiness. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's very Christmassy. Oh. oh, so uh, these are first impressions. What just this. happened? Chum. No, it's like um, cinnamon, spice, lively, sweet. and then sharp left turn, or right turn, and then uh, you in, it's not unpleasant. Right, trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, that one, it went. Oh, it's gonna be, uh, and change directions. There is a snap of a smell of Play-Doh in there. Mm -hmm. Just a snap, and now it's much more of a um, continuous threat. Now it's more beer-ish. Yeah, now it's, it doesn't do that that hard turn. As a matter of fact, it does have an aftertaste of a flat beer. No. Yeah, there's this weird clingy. We're talking about the, like I get the sweet malt, right? Yeah, but it's clinging, and it's clinging in a way that doesn't feel like oil. It feels uh, like residual yeast. It feels yeasty. This whiskey feels yeasty to me. Mm. But but here's, <laughs> but I'm like I'm not disliking anything that's going on here. It's, just it's remarkable. It's interesting and. Different, but still, still squarely whiskey. These are notes that I've had in whiskey before, but not really this exact presentation. Yeah, this is unique. Mm. All right, dump it because remember oh. this is first impressions oh, day. Let's just, and I really I want was to try. Perfectly content to let I people. I know you just, were fine. You were hey, bring your glass back with up. The furrowed here. brow, drink whiskey while people just sat here. And yeah, watched. of course. <laughs> now we're moving on to the peated release, which I'm kind of excited about. We're gonna do the the Cedar Ridge bo uh, bottled and bond. Okay. Perfect. So they're now old enough. This is Iowa's first bottled and bond release. Okay. So it has to be. Uh, fifty percent, hundred proof, mm -hmm. and then it has to be done in a season by one distiller. By one distiller. Yep. And uh, it needs to be a hundred years old. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's science. I'm kind of excited about this. Iowa's first bottled and bond what? distillery. Distillery exclusive. That's much more subdued and rounded off and matured on the nose. They use malted rye evidently in their bourbon. Okay. They use malted barley too, but instead of just rye, they use a malted rye. So what is how is rye usually put into a whiskey? Just rye grain. They don't okay. malt it. Okay. And the malting process. The malting is, process cracks open the grain and starts the germination it's adding process. Adding water yeah. and then uh, applying, uh, letting it start to germinate, uh, and then stopping that process with heat. This the, bourbon is interesting. Yeah. No, it's um, so many things to say, so little time. I know. <laughs> Jeff Quint founded Cedar Ridge in 2005, so now he's been going for 11 years. I will say... Wait, the... no, 11, that would be 2016. I'm not doing math. <laughs> what is it, 9? 14 years. Said, That's the number I was looking for. Said the bookkeeper. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this nose is a more, uh, again, I'm going to use the word mature, subdued, but still present. Oh, okay. Right? This, uh, this is... It's dark. Lively and unexpected, but the bottled and bond... It's a little more classic, but it, there's a dark molasses note in this that I wasn't expecting. Like, it takes, it starts to head down the brown sugar path of classic bourbon, yeah. and then does this little, like, dark roasted tinge to but it. It has, like, a nice, um, like, a toasty honey malt. Yeah. Toasty is the right word. Yeah. Toasty belongs in the description of this toasty whiskey. Toasty honey malt. Yeah. That's nice. Another nice one. 
Cedar Ridge is man, that's cool, man. If I, if I remember correctly, the other ones that we've had, uh, that we like those too. They're all classics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're all really good. They're doing high quality stuff. Mm. They're a winery too. Mm. They might have been a winery first, if I I'm, can't quite remember that one. Okay. Now I think as you get the other whiskey, there should be. I propose a new rule to the quarterly challenge, the challenge to the dry week. Okay. Um, in the moment, the hour before the, the dry week starts, you mm -hmm. should be able to pour whiskey into a glass, and however long that glass lasts you into the week. What? No, that's such a violation. And, oh, and no, why, why no. am I being picky about it no. having to be a glass? It seems kind of snobby that I say it has to be a glass. It shouldn't have to be a glass, just some type of container. No, oh, that's a... So you, you, can fill, just... you can fill the whiskey. How about... Here. Here. <laughs> there. Okay. So you just put a straw in there, sip it all week long. It can't change containers. That's such a violation. Obviously. You're such a violation. Yeah. Alright, these are both from Alex England. Alex England, you magnificent bastard! Fight! These are from the San Diego Distillery. Okay. We're gonna start with the single malt, a straight American whiskey. You know what? The rock, and we're gonna go into the peated. The rock and the glass corks. That's the shelter point. Does the same one that I'm fond of. I like the glass corks. Me too. Because you, you feel like you should be. <gasps> <gasps> it's like a, what are those things when you twist the uh, and the the? That's not. Is it kaleidoscope? It's a per, it's a Paris tele no, 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 telescope. No, 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 no. kaleidoscope. Co kaleidoscope. The yeah. one where you twist it and all the colors yeah, yeah, change yeah. with the light. Okay, we're gonna start with. The oh man, this glass cork is jammed in there. Oh, ah. son of a. Okay, really. I got some turning going. There right. we go. I'm too greasy. I don't have any. I don't. Right. Have, I don't have any purchase. I don't want to say anything. There's no. That, there's no grip. Now that you brought it up. All right. So this is the single malt from San Diego Distillery. It's a dark whiskey, by the way. Yeah. Trent Tilton started San Diego Distillery. He's got a background in home brewing and so Trent says. You know, there's a lot of creativity in beer. I wanted to bring that same creativity to whiskey. I'm getting a really nice, d right? Right? This what is a was that? dark, hefty, almost oh. like an oily molasses. They use seven different barleys in Ooh, their malt. Oily molasses. This is like um, old antique wood with some oh. furniture polish on there. And it's chocolate, like Dark, yeah, bitter chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, the color, it deserves that color. It deserves that darkness. That obviously. Good has night. Some some density. That is one of the darkest noses. What is the proof of, of any malt I've ever smelled? Yeah. What is the proof? I mean, this is this is darker, sweeter than some of the Balcones malts I've tried. Oh, or oh. smelled. Hold on, Daniel. What's the proof? This is sixty-one point five percent alcohol. Holy sh. This is 123 proof. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of them and prove it down a little bit. Right. I, I just think I did math right. Did I do math better than you? Did that just happen? <laughs> <laughs> the bookkeeper. It's been a long week. <laughs> it's Monday. It's been a long week. <laughs> it would be really funny if I got my math wrong. But <laughs> I did math oh, better. I mathed it. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's weird. Ooh. I'm gonna say it's so weird. Incredibly dark. Oh, and then there's a nuttiness in there. That is actually an exceptionally like, good exploration if, whiskey. If this was made from roots, this, I wouldn't be surprised. This is like if someone said, "Oh, there's a, oh, there's there's earthy roots in oh, this." Oh, and then the finish on this is like a. This is this it goes is, for days. It does. I added some water. I'm trying to talk through the finish. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> In, in, out, in, in. There's like, um, it's like a candied creamy walnut, eventually. Oh, yes, 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 but with a dark chocolate walnut. Dude, try it with a little water. Well, I, You'll I'm be not, grateful. I don't have a choice now. No, 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 you don't have a choice. We're going <laughs> to no, have to do it anyway. Dude, this, th these are the moments where Rare Whiskey Friday are super frustrating. Yeah, because you're like, you just want to sit there right. and enjoy it. Yeah, this, is for, this deserves far more than first impressions. Uh, Y'all remind us to circle back someday. Oh, no, it, it became way more tree sap and walnut mm. with water. Dare I say, better cask strength. The 61.5% alcohol. Nailed it. Yeah. Okay, rinse your glass. No. Let go, Rex. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. Look, Sting said it best. If you love someone, set them free. 
I don't love anybody. I'm gonna drink this. I'll uh, get you a new glass. No, hold on. This is what's gonna, this is what's gonna happen. Okay. I'm gonna savor this for the next 20 minutes because it'll take you 20 minutes to open the cork on this next bottle. Son of a bitch. I can turn it, but can I open it? Thank you, Alex, for sending this. That's amazing. Uh, I can spin it in circles. See, but I got, getting it open is a pain in the I ass. I got all the time in the world to. Uh, <laughs> it's spinning, savor. but it's jammed in there. I'm gonna nose it conveniently. You cheated. No, I used the tools at my disposal. Trixie Hobbits. <laughs> that was disproportionately funny. Okay. Oh, this. All I know about this is it's called peated. This this can win some awards. So we'll mm -hmm. go back to the previous one. San Diego Distillery, straight American oh, whiskey. Weird. This deserves some notoriety. Okay, so here's the thing: is uh, he uses all size barrels, but mostly small. As far as I can tell from looking at their website, uh, the smallest barrel they use is five gallons. The biggest barrel they use is 30 gallons. Wow. They don't use any full-size barrels. He is hyper-accenting the wood I, yeah, on all of this. I wonder where they're getting their barrels from. Because that's that's a huge and factor. There's, there's none of the weird green pine small barrel notes. Right, no, it's a huge factor. It's one of the yeah. most important decisions in uh, designing your whiskey. Smell the barrel that. impact there's different ways to prepare a barrel. Yeah. I like the nose on this one. Wow. I know. Whoa. Yeah. No, is this the last one? This is the last one. Oh. This is peated. The peated malt. <laughs> it's so smoky, so fun, funky, and I suggest like just earth peat. After we turn the camera off, we continue to drink the whiskey. I'm good with that. Okay. Here's the thing. We're shooting this, even though dry week starts within like an hour and a half from now. Right. We're shooting this Monday before dry week kicks in. Doesn't matter. We could drink into the wee hours. Because it's us. We yeah. can't drink for two weeks. <laughs> I'm out Well, on you're that. not okay with my... Your helmet whiskey? And now you're not okay with the double and double. What the hell, Daniel? Make up your mind. Balance, my friend. Balance in the force. Okay, so it's overly smoked, overly smoked meat. Like an overly smoked ham. The smoke pours Whoa! out of the glass. Pours out of the glass. Whoa! I don't know if I can hang that. I think that one just beat me at my own Pete game. <laughs> oh, wow, I can still taste the new make in that one. Combine, that one's sort of like, just treats you naughty. Woo! Son of a bitch. The thing is, I can't find anything that I actively dislike. I'm just struggling. Yeah. I'm struggling with so, this one. So, let me put it this way. In the world of PD whiskeys. I think I got a little water in my eye. <laughs> in the world of PD whiskeys. <laughs> in the world of PD whiskeys. Sweet Jesus. The, um, the, the peatiest thing these days. The peatiest thing these days. You're going to be in Scotland. It's going to be like an Octomore. Yeah, that's what they say, but they cut. They do narrow cuts. Well, the peat More like Laphroaig's. Well, hold on, though. Hold on, though. Because, like, they, they have actually have a way to measure. Yeah, but they measure before they distill. Oh, fine. But the measuring anyway. of the peat that goes into the yeah, whiskey. Yeah, yeah. The most heavily peated is, is Octomore. Peat parts per million? Yes. Okay. So they actually can measure how much peatiness is going into the distillate. Uh, I can tell you right now, I. Out of this whiskey. Mm hmm. This whiskey, the Pete's part per million, it's not, you know, whatever Lefroy is, whatever Octomore is. This whiskey is Pete's part, go f yourself. <laughs> That's a scientific definition. This is a smoke extract. This is, it's like, hey, you, this is like a house is burning down. And Dude, it, I hey, can't hey, stop hey, drinking. You know it, what would make this even smokier? Another smoky house burning down, and then they huh. pick up a burning house and they drop it on another burning house. Yeah, and they say, you know what, make that even better? Fifty-seven percent alcohol. Let's smoke some ham, and they get like 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 yeah. like a thousand pigs. A and thousand they, pigs. They run a thousand just like a herd nilly. into a thousand pigs into these burning houses. Good night, man. I'm struggling with this one, but I can't stop drinking it. This is the first time in how many years we've been doing this that I simultaneously and having this. It beat out of me by a whiskey, but I can't stop going back. <laughs> oh man, it smells like Laphroaig on the hands. Good night! It tastes like something went wonderfully wrong. <laughs> oh, I can't stop drinking it! Wonderfully wrong, and then they're in the back of the room going, F it, put it in a bottle. Yeah! <laughs> Screw it, we're drinking it. 
<laughs> well, I like I like this. So, I this has inspired me. Oh, it's so strong. I want to do a series of whiskeys. A <laughs> series of whiskeys that you have to fight through. No, series of whiskeys, and it's whiskey newcomers. Ah, and it's something that. Oh, know, oh, here, try this. Right. Okay, everyone, make note. This whiskey is on that video. Right. There's different videos where we know. You have to be like, oh, the frog is too blah 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 blah. Hold on. Hold on. There's a whole nother level. <laughs> <laughs> For I all you like... key and peel watchers out there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wow. Well. Wow. All right. I feel like there's going to be some health, Jeez. some health repercussions. Yeah. There. There's no comments. This is Rare Friday. Oh. Okay. Uh, we're going to shut down the video. Have a good dry week. We'll see you on Monday. Yes. Yeah. The whiskey challengers list. There's going to be a link whenever we come back. Uh, here's to fighting and not stealing and then and not drinking. Steal more. <laughs> this is what you do. Yeah. Double down on the stealing to make up for the drinking. Fair enough. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.